Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic will be form work. What is form work? Understanding the conventional and system form work. We will learn why system form work is better than conventional form work with the proper data. I will first explain about the system and conventional form work. Once we we'll understand them, we will see the difference between them. So please watch the full video, understand it. If you might have greater experience than me, if you have, if you want to add some points about this video, please mention in the comment box. And subscription is free, so please subscribe and share with your friends. So without any delay, let's get started. First, we will understand what is form work. This definition for you, if you ask me in simple word, the form work which gives the shape to concrete. And second, in our refuse and another definition, the form work holds the concrete until it gets its strength. Right? So this is the image of form work, simple form work, which is for our column. It's uh, it's stripped when concrete is like our column is got strength. Right? So next we will understand the classification of form work. The form of classification will be I classified with this my uh, knowledge. So form of first is conventional and system. Conventional means without any proper design or uh, anything they will use in the site. Like it's from a wooden or a uh, steel or uh, this type of uh, form. Of. In system form in this conventional form of there are two types: vertical and horizontal. In system there is one extra called climbing. This climbing form of is like big part. So I will made a separate video for that. So I will make a separate video for that so that uh, you will understand it properly but in this video I cannot able to uh, make you understand but I will give a common idea about the climbing form works. Okay, then I again this vertical form works I subdivided sub divided into timber systems and panel systems. There are also timber then drop systems and table forms. I will explain each of them with the proper images and videos. Conventional form works. I told vertical and horizontal form works. So you can see this conventional means they will uh, it's like fully wooden. Sometimes they will use the some uh, metallic components also. So this is very simple but very time taking procedure and it is very cheaper than this one. So you can see you will get the very good idea when see what is uh, conventional form works. You would have seen in very side. They most of the small sites will use the conventional form works only because it's very cheaper for them right okay uh, you understood the vertical and horizontal it's simple then no need to understand at uh, like more so in system form works again the for i will explain for the vertical first in vertical there are two types right timber systems and panel systems in timber system means it is the same principle derived from the uh, our uh, conventional form work you can see here the same components you might see but the difference here in here means the each component is pre-designed we know the each component's strength we know each component's capacity everything so that it is very helpful for the designer when he designs any particular form of you can see if a designer is doing this uh, form of design he has to mention this form of uh, distance between these uh, vertical timber beams the whalers the push pull props everything because he knows the property of that so this one is like erection is faster than uh, our uh, conventional form work but still it is safer and stronger and this repeatability is very more. The technical terms I will discuss in the uh, last of the video because once you understand it is easy to grab the technical things easier. So this was timber then panel means same concept but they are uh, using the ribs, ribs of the metals, it might be steel or aluminium, depends. So here what happens is, see, uh, in timber beams, you have to like erect it individually. One timber beam, second timber beam, third timber beam, one you erect it, then again you have to join it. But in panel system, it is like a pre-designed one and it is like fixed. Just to place a panel, put a tie rod, and it, the system is ready for uh, like the concrete is uh, ready to pour like that system it is so no, no that much of uh, time required it is very faster and it is little bit costlier than these 
timber systems here also they have maximum capacity like some of them have might be 80 kN capacity 60 kN capacity if your concrete uh, concrete pressure is about 50 kN you can arrams use this one if your concrete uh, capacity is around 120 kN per concrete pressure is a 120 kN per meter square then you cannot use if the, the it, its uh, strength is 80 kN per then you have to modify this timber system and you have to again design it then you can modify and you will achieve this 120 uh, square meter strength 1 120 kN per square meter strength easily now we'll see horizontal or slab forward in this uh, three types timber systems drop systems and table forms this timber systems and drop table forms are similar you can see here it's a similar but one major difference is means like in the table forms what we can see is each component like the secondary beam primary beams are fixed right and this primary beam is fixed to this prop so that you might understand your common dining table it is like that only you cannot dismantle it right this once the design is done it is fixed here also it is fixed it is used entirely to from your basement to the top level of your building it is a stable form but if you listen this timber systems timber system means it is not at all fixed it, it's only here we can see this primary beam is fixed with this one but also we can arrange uh, dismantle it when in the uh, dismantling of uh, form work here we will individually like remove each part then gather to the one we'll up lift to the another floor again we'll uh, what erect it or we will assemble it right in the timber systems but in table forms no directly we will take this lower the props here lower the props then we will take to the next floor then we will rise to the required height then we will pour the concrete so this is table forms may i also just tables means anybody can understand right but now this this is one thing sorry drop system right we will ask what is drop system drop system means this is same panels it's nothing but same as a panel form work but here nothing but it's laid horizontally for the slab but the problem it's one good definition of uh, one good advantage of this drop system uh, what means you can retrieve your panels without removing your props are you understanding it i will show a video how we will retrieve uh, this panels without retrieving this one uh, like props the props will be same props will be th- uh, there and we can remove the uh, uh, panels and we will shift to the next floor and we should give the two sets of props so that what happens is your time of construction will very less you are uh, this prop acts as a supplementary support for your slab because if first i will tell if slab is 6 meter and if you are uh, removing the prop it might bend it might buckle or it might fail right so we need some supplementary props until 14 days or uh, 28 days it depends of its span and structure so this system helps you to retain the apna uh, retain the panels and uh, we can shift to the next floor and we can start erecting the form works until that this will get the strength and we can uh, pour the concrete after that pouring is done we can remove this prop and we'll shift to the next one i will show the video and you can understand So next is system form works is like a climbing form work in that two i pod crane climbing and self climbing i won't explain very deeply in this one but you can understand the self uh, like climbing form works means if you have symmetry of uh, like uh, outer periphery wall or something so you want to construct it up to uh, 15 20 25 it, it's like limitless you can construct it using this climbing form works you self climbing and uh, crane climbing difference means this is lifted by crane and it is lifted by a pump 
pump is a hydraulic pump with a suitable capacity which is lift, lifted once the uh, concrete gets the strength you can see here this is the coning of the uh, climbing systems I will explain you in the next video but it requires a lots of uh, time to make you understand so we will move uh, forward and we'll see next I am talking about the technical differences this is the general difference but somebody don't know now also in we are when we engineering we don't have a system form works now many engineering students also don't know what is system form works and also it is like a small glimpse to them to understand uh, difference between them right see initial investment time will talk it can mention low low is how much 400 per square meter even i heard that 150 square meter also available so that much uh, low but the system form okay, approximately it is 4000 per square meter there are systems which can give you if you go for climbing it might go to 30000 per square meter 40000 per square meter but it depends on the system your simple timber beam system or you're using or a panel system you're using it might become around 4000 per square meter as the complexity increases uh, your square meter prices increases so repetition repetition means what means once your formwork uh, like you uh, buy a system formwork you can use it for 150 uh, times like once the concrete is poured then you can dismantle again you can put to the another uh, height or another level then pour it like approximately 150 repetition you can get but in the conventional form of due to the less durability and uh, uh, not stronger material we are approximately uh, we will get 10 repetitions then durability i have told durability is less means repetition also less it's not a proper definition required for this pre-planning pre-planning means in this the pre-planning is re not required but the pre-planning is done by our carpenter carpenter comes okay this much you have to do he will uh, start uh, uh, like erecting the formwork with the help of labors but here in the system formwork the proper design formwork what they will do is some engineers will be there they will go into pre-design they will going to give the plan they will give the drawings they will give the strength how much you can pour they will give everything so that the customers no need to worry about the form work are you understanding so this is called pre-planning the scrap value means very less or we can consider 10 percent of scrap value in this conventional form work because wood, the wood was fully scrapped it's not but here in system form work, due to the strength and uh, the various materials used, the scrap value is very good uh, suitability why uh, like suitability i can tell you see for g plus more than g plus five also you can use a uh, conventional form market it's not big deal but what's the time time is more right time required to construct it might take two years in that you can complete uh, with the system within uh, one year right that much uh, feasibility so that's why i mentioned like for small building and for small building you don't want to invest more see the investment initial investment is very high in the system form for small building you don't require a system form works the surface finish sometimes what happens is uh, after a concrete is poured they will again plaster it right but if you don't need to plaster it you can use the system form works. it will use smooth and fair finished so that uh, the plastering your work and your money will be saved here right the wastage of material and wastage of material means if you are using conventional there are snails there are uh, some patterns some wood cuttings everything but here none, none means there are small but if you use panel form works there is none i can tell okay installation and stripping installation you know again you have to put a nail you have to dismantle but in this system form works as i show you previously it is fixed or if timber form works is very like easy to uh, dismantle and handle right the stripping days see the stripping days is like a big concept so in like the later person i told five days five days means for what wall don't require five days right if a wall requires two days in conversion form of system form because only one day and uh, uh, I, I told you in drop system like how they will uh, retrieve uh, this one like panels without retrieving uh, like props that is like stripping time only right that is very less in system form work in accuracy no need to tell accuracy is high in the system for one it's pre-designed one so these are some datas uh, you can just refer it like for your this one 
hope you understand uh, this video and you like the video if you like please share and uh, with your friends and subscribe okay so thank you guys for your valuable time see you in the next video